Today, we're going to learn about probability. Probability is the likelihood of an event occurring or the likelihood of an event happening. There are going to be several words that we're going to use to describe probability. Those include certain, likely, unlikely, and impossible. We'll also introduce equally likely a little bit later on. So let's look at some pictures and figure out these words. If I pick a cube from this bag, it is certain that I will pick a red. It is certain that I will pick a red. Certain is a word that you want to use when all of what they're asking about is that particular color. Certain goes with all. Okay? So, um... Let's make it certain over here in the second bag to pick a blue. Doesn't make a difference how many cubes I drag up as long as I make sure that all of the cubes I drag are blue. Certain and all go together. Certain and all go together. Now, I like to make a fraction to help me decide my probability words because I know when fractions look a certain way, it means I should pick a certain probability word. So, if I were making a fraction for this, I want to make a fraction of reds. Well, there are seven red cubes. There are seven cubes in my bag. When my numerator and denominator match, it is equal to one whole, which means all. Okay? So, if my numerator and denominator are matching exactly, you need to pick the word certain. Let's make a fraction over here. Fraction of blues. There are three blues. There are three cubes in the whole bag. Again, numerator and denominator matching, meaning one whole or all of my cubes. So certain and all go together. Take a look at this bag. If I were to pick a cube from this bag, it is impossible for me to pick a red. Why is it impossible for me to pick a red? If you said because there are no reds, you're absolutely right. Let's make a fraction of reds in this bag. Well, there are no reds, so zero, okay? Zero out of eight, which in turn is equal to zero. So impossible and none go together. Anytime you have none of what they're asking you about, you need to use the word impossible. Let's make it impossible to pick a blue over here. As long as we use no blues, we're good to go. Okay? What is my fraction over here that shows it is impossible to pick a blue? Well, we have zero blues and there are three cubes, which again is equal to zero. So anytime you use the word impossible, you need to use that word when you have none of what they're asking you about. All right, if you look at this bag right here, it is likely that we would pick a blue. Why is it likely that we would pick a blue? If you said because a lot of the cubes in the bag are blue or most of the bag is blue, you're absolutely correct. Anytime you see this word or use this word likely, a lot of your bag or a lot of your container should contain whatever color they're asking about. In this case, blue. Let's make a fraction of blues. There are five blues. There are seven cubes. When my numerator and denominator are pretty close together, you want to use the word likely. Okay, you want to use the word likely. Let's make the second bag likely to pick a yellow. Likely to pick a yellow. So most or a lot of my bag needs to be yellow. All right, can you make a fraction of yellows for this bag? If you said three, four, you're absolutely correct. Anytime my numerator and denominator are pretty close together, you want to use the word likely. So likely means a lot. Likely means a lot. All right. 
If we were to choose a cube from this bag, it would be unlikely that we would get a green. Unlikely to get a green. Why is it unlikely to get a green? If you said because there's very little green in that bag, you're correct. Anytime we use the word unlikely, there's very little of what they're asking about. In this case, let's make a fraction of greens. There's one green, but there are eight cubes. So one-eighth of my cubes. My numerator is way far from my denominator. Okay? Anytime the numerator and denominator are far apart, I want to use the word unlikely. All right? Let's make this second bag unlikely to pick red unlikely to pick a red. So again, it doesn't make a difference how many cubes I drag up as long as I have very little red. Unlikely means a little. Okay, well this bag definitely shows that it is unlikely to pick a red. Unlikely to pick a red. What's your fraction of reds? One out of five or one-fifth. My denominator is far away from my, uh, my numerator is far away from my denominator, so therefore it is unlikely. So unlikely means a little. Let's switch over to something different. Let's go over and try probability with candy. Here's a bag of M&Ms. There are 10 of them in here. What color would you most likely pull out of this bag? So if you reached in and you were to grab an M&M without looking, what color would you most likely get? If you said yellow, you're correct. Okay, because there's more yellow than any other color in this bag. What's the probability that you would pull out a green M&M? Again, I like to make the fraction because that helps me decide which probability word to use. So let's make a fraction of greens. How many greens do you see? One. How many M&Ms? There are 10. So one tenth. They aren't very close, so the probability word I would use would be unlikely. Unlikely. So one tenth and unlikely. What's the probability that you would pull out a yellow M&M? We'll make a fraction of yellows. There are four yellows. There are 10 M&Ms, okay? Four isn't that close to 10, but there's more yellows than any other color, so I would say it's likely. So four tenths and likely. What's the probability that you pull out a pink M&M? Well, how many pinks do you see over here? None? Well, neither do I. So zero tenths. Zero tenths, which would be impossible. Impossible. All right, now there's a fifth question that's not up here, so listen closely. Check out the M&Ms while I'm asking you the question. All right, question number five. What's the probability that if you reached over into this bag, you would pull out an M&M? If you said certain, you're correct, because there are ten pieces of candy, there are 10 M&Ms. 10 tenths means it's certain. All right, let's go a little bit further. Let's take a look at spinners. Probability can also be written as an outcome. For example, look at the spinner below. I have a one out of five chance of spinning a red. This is just like the fractions that I was just doing with y'all guys, okay? Because if you look, we're making a fraction of reds. One red, but five colors. One out of five chance, or one-fifth chance, okay? It can also be written in a fraction this way, one-fifth, okay? All right, let's look at another spinner. What's the probability the spinner below will land on a purple? Well, what is your fraction of purple? My fraction of purples would be three purples out of six sections. So three six. I would say it would be likely. Okay, likely. All right, so let's review about these words real quick. But before we do that, 
let's find out what it means when you have two objects that have the same numbers. In other words, like on this spinner right here, I only see, I see two red sections and I see two blue sections. They're equal. So anytime you see amounts that are equal like that, you would use the words equally likely. So what's the probability of spinning a blue or a red equally likely because there's two reds and two blues okay equally likely is used when there's an equal amount so in this bag here let's make it equally likely to pick a yellow or a green yellow or a green it doesn't make a difference how many i drag up as long as i make sure i have the same number of yellows and the same number of greens i'm gonna stop it right here we got three yellows and three greens, so it is equally likely to pick a yellow or a green. All right? So, in review, here's what our words mean. Your probability words include certain, which means the same thing as all, likely, which means a lot of what they ask me about is that color or shape. Equally likely means there's an equal amount of each item. For instance, four oranges and four apples, okay? Unlikely means there's a very little of what they're asking me about, and impossible means there is none of what they're asking me about. Thanks for learning about probability with me today, guys.